Hi there, Trevor here. Today I'm going to talk about an open source remote access alternative called Rustdesk. It's very similar to something such as TeamViewer, where you install a client on a machine. It's available for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, and iOS. It has a GitHub repository. The project still has a bit of a ways to go for development, but it is ready for use. I have used it on my own network and now let's do a comparison of it with TeamViewer. You can see the UIs are similar, but not. We have the ID and password, much like we do in TeamViewer, and we have a remote control for the desktop. TeamViewer on the web login for a corporate uh, environment, you're able to access sites from within the browser, which is nice. However, it is fairly expensive. That being said, if you have the corporate version of Team Viewer, you know that it is a well liked tool. It is easy to use, not a lot to manage or anything like that. So we know TeamViewer, so let's have a look at Rustdesk. So Rustdesk works very much like TeamViewer. You have an ID, a password, remote desktop that you use for connecting. You have your recent sessions, favorites, discovered, and address book. You can see that there's a login uh, that is for an on-prem server, where you can keep an address book uh, that I believe is still in development at this time. So in recent sessions here, you see I have two computers. I can add them to favorites if I wanted to using the little drop down hamburger menu on the bottom right side of the tile. If you have previously connected all you have to do is double click on the tile and you'll be prompted for a password. So I've just entered the password and now I have access to the full desktop on my daughter's computer. And here we'll just minimize my tile you can go full screen you see how many displays you can chat you can send commands such as control alt delete block block user input refresh the screen do tcp tunnel file transfer and change how you display the window having optimized reaction time shrink stretch the screen mute audio, allow file copy paste, a large number of options, something if you've used TeamViewer before you'll be used to. Now in the bottom right of the taskbar you'll see this kind of uh, blue box with a white circle. That's the Rust Desk icon service so you can see that we can right click on it and we can stop the service if we decided to. The user has the ability to do that if they have the given permissions to be able to do that. So you can see we can launch it up if we wanted to connect to another machine from that machine. So right now we'll disconnect from this one and we'll connect to my son's computer. The disconnect button doesn't seem to be working in this version, so we'll just close our session. And then I will click on my son's computer tab, enter in my password. And just like the previous computer, all the same options works very much like TeamViewer. It's an open source project, works very well. 
So if you do any kind of remote management or anything like that, I would definitely recommend looking at Rust Desk, especially given TeamViewer having a restriction on the number of computers you connect to and all that. At any rate, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. 